Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophinet, the babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Bioshock Infinite. We're immediately in combat stance, apparently. I don't know why. Okay, that was weird. Oh, there they are. Okay, never mind. That probably wasn't supposed to happen until I uh, had something happen. Okay. Yeah, so that one. There's something going on. Oop. Come on. No. Jesus. Jesus, can't I use the hooks? Nope, I can't. Jesus, come on. Where's everybody else? Kill you. You haven't found anything yet. I can't find anything. Um Take the You need this. Yep, I do. Jesus. Where the hell? Where the hell is that even coming from? Is that just a third? Oh jeez, I'm almost dead. Jesus. Auto aim. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, ow. Yeah, this is me taking over. Let's pick up this thing. Oh, I so need health. Elizabeth, no health for me? Ooh, go that's ahead. handy. There you go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good riddance for alternative dimensions. Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> well, that was a lot of work. For absolutely no reason. Jesus. Okay. So, uh, a pretty big ambush. I don't really know why, because of course, Fink should still be. Look. Look. Looks like Fink isn't giving you the job. Oh, I think this is what she was talking about. Kill the false shepherds. So that's what changed. Fink suddenly wants to kill me again instead of giving me a job. So uh, yeah, that's why everybody was attacking me. Mm, sniper rifle? Yeah, sniper rifle. I don't think anything else has changed. And uh, let's pick up the carbine. There we go. And a bit more health because I can actually use that. But let's head inside of the... Wait, did we pick up the codebook? We did, right? Let's go uh, decipher it over there in the corner first then. Over here. Yeah. And then let's decipher the code. Elizabeth? Alright, give me a second. The broken clock tolls. At midnight. Which clock? Well, there's a lot of them, but this it's... Looks like the one. Yeah, there's set only... Midnight. Yeah, there's only one that we can actually change, and it's this one. So let's set it to midnight. And that opens up a My safe. Thing. So, um... I'm not gonna take the Foley gun. I'm gonna take the Locksmith back with three lockpicks. The Infusion, obviously. Let's boost our shields again. And then but the Voxophone right. from, uh... Vivian Monroe again. I came to Columbia because I believed in God and because I believed in honor. But Slade has shown me this. 
There is no God in shutting our brothers out from the family of man, and there is no honor in defending those who are strangers to its meaning. Perhaps in Finkton there is one more deserving of my service. In Finkton there is one more deserving of my service. Who could she be talking about? Um, my guess is that she's talking about uh, Daisy Fitzroy, because Daisy Fitzroy and Slate were working together at that time. So, uh, she might have just switched sides to the uh, Vox Populi shotgun. That might be handy as well. I'm actually gonna loot the place a bit, so give me a second. Oh, by the way, um, there's a lot of dead workers here as well. I'm actually looting their corpses at the moment, but yeah. So, uh, I think employees were even murdered in this uh, alternative dimension because of the, the fact that they might be sheltering the, uh, well, the false shepherd, namely us. Um, let's head into the gunsmith shop and see uh, what else has changed. Because, of course, Chen Lin is now alive, so he should be able to help us with the uh, weapons for the Vox Populi. So, uh, let's go in here. I don't think anything has changed. Nope. So, let's head inside. There we go. Back inside the gunsmith shop. Do you hear anything? Nope. Huh? No machines. No tools. Let's go find that gunsmith. Maybe he's upstairs now. Booker, look. The shrine. It's a figure of Comstock now. So, uh, yeah, the, the Lin family was a, uh, a devout worshipper of Buddha. But now this shrine has completely changed to Comstock. Uh, it was already strange that Chen Lin was freed by the connections of his wife. And uh, this might be a first explanation for that, because now they actually worship in Comstock and not Buddha. But let's head upstairs and see. There we go. This place was filled with tools and machines, but now it's empty. And Chen Lin is trying to work on something that is not even here. Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Excuse me, Chen Lin? Who are you? You speak up! Speak up! Can't hear you over all these machines! Very loud! I'm Booker DeWitt. Stand back! These machines very dangerous. Wait downstairs with Mrs. Lin. Uh, Daisy Fitzroy sent us. We need to talk to you about getting some weapons. Machines very dangerous. No place for stupid people. Want to lose pretty head? Mr. Lin... Downstairs! What is wrong with him? Remember him dead in that cell? Maybe in, in some way he remembers that too. How would you reconcile that? I don't know. So as you can see on his body, there's also blood running from his nose and ears. Same way as the uh, the soldiers were that were supposed to be dead in the old, older dimension as well. So he kind of remembers being dead as well. And what's more, he remembers and actually feels like his machines are here as they did in the previous dimension. So everybody has been kind of overlaid on top of each other. So they remember both the present and the other dimension, this dimension and the other dimension, which is uh, kind of linking back to the, well, the few voxophones at the beginning talking about uh, Schrodinger's cat that might be, that's actually alive and dead at the same time. These people are all alive and dead at the same time because of what Elizabeth did when she opened up the tear. Calm his troubled thoughts. Ease his burden. Bring Chen Lin back to me. And this is probably the one of the bigger changes, because Mrs. Lin... Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Mrs. Lin. I'm Mrs. Lin. No, I, I mean a little Chinese lady. She was... Booker, this is Mrs. Lin. They took Chen's tools. What's he got without his tools? Well, your husband is a bit out of sorts. If he could work again, maybe if, if he could work, he'd... Mrs. Lin, can you tell me who took your husband's tools? Goddamn police. They took them and locked them up in the impound in Shantytown. So Mrs. Lin is now Shit. white. Would having his tools back fix his mind? Who cares? We're not getting any guns if Chen Lin doesn't have his tools. Let's head to Shantytown. So Mrs. Lin is now white instead of an Asian woman, and that's why she had those higher-up connections to get Chen Lin out of prison. Um, now she mentions that maybe we can fix him by getting his tools back, so... Uh, 
another kind of fetch quest. Let's head to Shantytown because we haven't been there yet and leave the gunsmith. Back in that Dear horrible eyes. music. Lynn had a bloody nose. Seems to be in style. Miss Tara. I'm not so sure it was a good idea. So again, confirming that we didn't just travel to a new dimension, but it actually changed a lot of things. And they remembered a lot of things from the previous dimension again. And of course, everybody's still out to kill us now. Keep firing. Stop them. There we go. I'm only at 60 kills with a carbine yet. That was interesting. Good question. Hello? And Fink is uh, using his propaganda in the back here. And that's most of them. Where the hell is that last one? I hear one. Aside from the horrible music. Okay then. I am so sorry. That didn't look all that friendly now, did it? Wanna hold on to this? So, uh, same as in the previous Bioshocks, shocking someone and then meleeing them apparently, well, removes their head for some reason. Um, so, another area has opened up right now, if I'm not mistaken. So over there is Shanty Town. So uh, let's let's go inside. Uh, there's a, bit, a few items here as well. So let's use possession on both of these machines, getting us a bit more money. Thank you and thank you. And let's check out the Veni Vidi Vigor. Hmm, still crow's trap ate no new things. So let's just switch this up. And that moves the containers from over there to over there. My finger. Sorry, I didn't. It's all right. It's as much a mystery to me as anyone else. Maybe Songbird knows, but he's not talking. <laughs> I'm sorry. What for? I get to wear this stylish thimble to cover up my hideous deformity. I hear they're all the rage in Paris. So she just mentions the fact that she's missing her pinky finger over there. Because we've seen that when we first uh, saw her in her tower as well. That she, for some reason, is missing her pinky finger. Um, let's do it. Okay. Now that we still have the advantage, go with the uh, gun turret. Jesus. Let's have the turret fire a bit. But there's an armored dude over there, and that's kind of the problem. Um. Go get him! Go get him! <laughs> this is this is up. I'll kill you. And he's he's just hitting himself in the face until he's dead. Yeah. So that's what happens if you uh, mind control melee enemies. They just start doing that, hitting themselves in the face. Ah, oh, this game is sometimes so gruesome. Uh, I can use the freight hook to. Get Go up ahead. there, if I'm not mistaken. Go down, thank you. And then there's an RPG here. Might not actually be such a bad switch at the moment. So we're all out of ammo. Well, we have full ammo. We could conjure up the, the gun turret again, but I'm not going to, so let's jump down. I think there's another room here. Hello? With another uh, armory machine, which means gun upgrades. Let's see here. Damage boost on the RPG isn't bad. And I think I'm gonna go for the, um, hmm, the clip increase for the carbine since we usually use the carbine. Not More at the money. moment. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. And I think that's pretty much it over here, because on the other side there's nothing. And this is kind of a transitionary area anyway, so there's not much here. More volley gun ammo. So let's 
What? What? What did you see? What did you see? Because every time she says that, there's something that we missed, but I don't see anything. And uh, yeah, let's not wait around too much longer. So the parting, the parting, because we need to go to Shanty Town. But uh, behind this display, there's a uh, another vigor. And I can actually, can I pick up the weapons? No, there's a shotgun over here. That's why. Um, rock pick, hand cannon. Might actually be better than the RPG, but let's let's roll with the RPG for now. I need to get my kills anyway, so uh, did I check this one? No. Okay, there we go. So let's head into the elevator here and uh, go down into Shantytown. Leave the area. Boop. So Shantytown is kind of the the poor area of um, you Finkton. You must think me some sort of freak. A girl who can bring dead men back to life. Whose only acquaintance is a, a giant bird creature. It must seem ridiculous. You just got dealt a bad hand. I am not going back to that tower no matter what happens. They won't stop until they have you. Why? What did I do to them? You frightened them. Good. You frightened them. Because, of course, they're very afraid of what she can do. This is what they want, brothers. To keep you so hungry, you can't speak but to beg. To keep you so ignorant, you can't think of solutions to all your problems. To keep you chasing that almighty silver eagle so you can buy everything they're selling to keep you down, brothers. But Daisy Fitzroy says there's another way. Another way coming real soon. So this guy's a preacher for the Vox Populi. Um, so yeah, the poor people area where uh, all the workers go uh, when they're done working. Because as you can see, over there we have the giant clock we passed when we first enter f entered Finkton proper. And uh, yeah, they can see that from even over here, from even down here. Let's uh, just be very careful, because this is a... Uh... people are like this because of Fink? Maybe Daisy's right. Maybe she should pay him back for all of this. Not before she pays us. We're here for guns and then the airship. I guess we could head straight for the police station. Or see what's in that bar. What do you think? Well, I I feel this is a very strange area because there's a few items you can only get by, well, pissing everybody off and forcing you to kill a lot of people. So first thing is actually that over there. There's an infusion past those people. But if you go over there, you start pissing everybody off. So, yeah, that's kind of Back annoying. It up, Scal. Yeah, see? If you get closer, they uh, start being very, very mad at you. But, let's not do that. Let's go to that bar first before we go into the police station. Um, Heads up! Huh. Privilege to spare some coin, friend. Not all of us are gainfully employed down here. And a man's gotta eat. I'm actually wondering if that happened. Oh, yeah, okay. Seriously? Fuck you. Master of Pyrotechnics. So that's my 20 kills with the uh, the rocket launcher, which is actually pretty good. Now let's head into the bar, because people don't seem to mind at the moment that we just blew up two people over here. I can't use figures in here, because that will piss everybody off as well. But if I'm not mistaken, I think I can freely go down for now over here. So let's go here, because this has one of the most interesting scenes, well, touching scenes in the game. Because uh, you saw that little kid run down there, because he's pretty scared Hi of us. See, so, yeah, Elizabeth starts uh, talking Guitar. to him. I wish I knew how to play. I just spell some of the gloom. And, um, well, Booker knows how to play. So let's, well, I'm just going to let you guys enjoy. So let's play the guitar. Will the circle be unbroken by and by, by and by? Is 
So of course a very fitting song for this entire game. That single line kind of tells a lot about this game. Will the circle be unbroken? Is a better home awaiting in the sky? Yeah. I so found a lockpick. Yeah, thank you, Elizabeth. So uh, of course Colombia is the better home awaiting in the sky. And uh, there we have the keys. That is interesting. So we found keys. Now we have to find the box to unlock. Um, that song is actually also the same, the very same song you hear being chanted in the background when you first enter Colombia, when you exit the elevator and you get into the, uh, eventually into the uh, baptism scene. Uh, that's the very same song that's being played, so uh, it doesn't sound like it, but it is. So let's listen to the voxophone from Daisy Fitzroy. When you force deep underground, well, you see things from the bottom up. And down at the bottom of the city, I saw a fire burning. A fire's got heat of plenty, but it ain't got no mouth. Daisy. Now she got herself a mouth big enough for all the fires in Colombia. I think I'm actually gonna swap this out for the repeater over there. There we go. We haven't actually used this weapon yet. Um, so Daisy Fitzroy just talking about how she wants to destroy the world. Kind of a, yeah, bit of a weird change in her character because she just wants to uh, help the little people. Is everybody okay with me for now? I think they are. But if you start using Vigors here, they start, of course, minding as well. I don't think... Oh, 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 no, no, no. Look, so if you go behind the bar, he pulls a shotgun. Uh, but I don't think there's something I need over here. Is he just... Because there's a few boxes over here. I don't think the keys are actually used over there. Um, does this have anything else? No. Okay, so I think we're fine here, right? Guys, there's no lockpick here. Let's pick that up. Let's pick that up. I can't pick that up without any... God damn it. Thank you. Another look pick, and that's pretty much it down here, I think, because I don't think there's just the salts bottle behind him. And everybody else doesn't seem to mind us being here. So, we're still friendly with all the people. Let's take the repeater ammo now that we're using the repeater. Because it's, uh, a lot of the weapons have a Vox Populi variant, and the repeater is the Vox Populi variant of the machine gun, of course. And it shoots and bursts. So that's the really the only difference in the gun. Um, I really want to get that infusion, but I think I'm just gonna piss people off if I want to do that. So let's not. Let's not. Let's just not do that. Um, oh, and continue on. on. Hit it! I hit it harder! Hit it harder! Barely making a goddamn dent. I'm hungry, Bill. Um, there's money just lying on the floor here, so I'm just. Oh, that was that was a problem. I am so sorry about this. I am so sorry about this. I thought I could pick up pretty much everything. How far does that spread if I piss these people off? I just killed four poor people. I am so sorry. That was... that was... I'm just gonna check if I just pissed everybody off anyway now. I can as well just take the infusion. No, okay. Okay, never mind. I think you can actually... Well, it's too late to try that out now. I think you can actually possess the machine down there and let it sprout. I'm actually gonna try that now. No. No. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's what we could do. Yeah, I should have listened to uh, Elizabeth. Kind of forgot about that. I could have just conjured up the food sacks over here. Let's do that anyway. Have, have fun. Have fun. Um... Uh, so sorry about this. I just feel bad now. Oh, oh my god. But uh, at least not everybody's pissed at me. That, that, that should count for something. Uh, is there something over here? 
Never mind. Let's go to the police station. Guilty labor agitator. So there's two people just, well, stuck here on display. And yeah, it's not a not a very nice thing to do. Can I do something new? I think this is pretty much it. There's a wallet over there. Can't take that for some reason, but not the purse. Damn. Just so sad that I had to kill those people. But yeah, let's pick up this piece of gear. Vampires embrace. Melee kills give health. Um, instead of fleet feet. Hmm. Let's just equip the vampires embrace. Sounds cool. Not using melee attacks all that much, but at least we can do something about it. Hooker, there's the impact. We're gonna have to get through an army to get those tools. Well, let's try this out. What the? Is this guy just immediately? Ah, there we go. Oh, she wasn't dead. I thought her health bar was completely gone there. Thank you. So I need to take out the gun turret. So as you can see, there's a giant gun turrets over there. I think I can actually snipe them from over here. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Just gonna empty my uh, clip on them. And I think I can actually survive most of the hits. There we go. That'll do. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Jesus. What the? I am? So I think that's one turret. That, of course, didn't kill the other one. There we go. On a clear day, that actually counts as a sniper rifle headshot kill. Let's take out that turret as well. Oh no, okay, let's go. Let's go. Ooh, I actually feel that I'm a bit slower than I was used to. Uh, melee thingy. Goodbye. He's gonna drop down. Yep. Why the hell did I get health from that? Ah, goodbye. Sniper rifle, sniper rifle, sniper rifle, thank you. My aim is true, as my eye is the promise. Where the hell is that coming from? Over there. I'm fine for now. There we go. Take it! Thanks. Okay. Boom. Let's get back on the skyline. Open it. It. Open it. Open this is firing rockets now. I'm actually fine right now. Let's uh, have the third do all the work. And take a look around in here. Now that we're at it. I'm actually looking for a new weapon because... Hand cannon ammo? Oh. Yeah. That's great. Whew. And let's go the low route. Ooh, RPG. Loose cannon. Is he dead? He looks dead. Yeah, he's dead. There we go. Killed everybody. I'm a monster. Jesus Christ. Booker is a killing machine. Let's pick up all 
that and I'm just gonna take a look around because there's quite a few items around here um, so give me a second so there we go another cowboy 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 head and a bloody bloody bear trap and of course we know well by now who the cowboy head belongs to so let's listen to our voxophone from Preston Downs well Fitzroy you you got a little cunning in you if nothing else Dropped a couple grizzly traps around the lines up here. Idea was to, to bleed one of your couriers till he gave you up. Except, of course, you're using kids now. Now I got this tiny engine boy eyeballing me. Tried to take his leg off. Damn things just lying here between us. I sure wish he'd cry or something. So yeah, Preston in his pursuit for Daisy Fitzroy tried to uh, take out one of Daisy's uh, couriers. But it was a little kid that got stuck in his bear trap. Um, he had to amputate the leg, that's why there's one shoe over here, creepily enough. And then there's two tracks, there's one leading over here to the wall where probably the child kind of uh, started laying down. And then I can only assume that since the boot prints lead over there, he dropped the kid off the city. Um, yeah, this is starting to get a bit gruesome, but that's pretty much what happened. Let's continue looking for more stuff. So I think that's pretty much it. I think there's a single salt bottle over here. And that's pretty much it. So let's head into the police depot. Here we go. Got a lock Hairpin here. lock. Oh, this won't take long at all. This won't take long at all. I think I'm just gonna take a crank gun for now. The roguish type and leave Shantytown for the police station. The bull house impound. So um this is a, a tiny, well, not such a tiny, but a bit of a, a separated area, just the building. And of course, since this is a police station, there should be policemen, right? You should think that, but it's kind of quiet at the moment. So let's take a look around first. And uh, there's not a kinetoscope here. Fitzroy spotted. Vile Vox Populi leader Daisy Fitzroy was spotted. There she goes. People are scared. Terrified. The great prophet has foreseen her end. Only he can protect us. Our prophet. The end. Thank you very much. So 24 out of 37. Another lockpick. Repeater ammo up the wazoo. So I might actually just pick up the ammo. Just in case I want to use one of those later on. But I'm good with the minigun in my hands now. So let's enter the police station. Let's pick up the cover here. Okay. Jesus. Die. 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 Okay. Oh shit, that's a problem. Take this for the bleeding. Thank you. Uh, let's cancel that. The Lord oh, judges. For fuck's sake. I Ow. Why would you run if you were not guilty? Mercy belongs to the Lord. That's all I have. Oh, that's all my ammo as well. There we go. 
Whew. David and Goliath, so that's taking out uh, 20 heavy hitters, so uh, firemen, automated patriots and stuff like that. So uh, 20 of them down already. I'm actually kind of low on salt at the moment. What did she find now? Let's pick up the machine gun for now until we find something better. Um, although this thing should have had a crank gun, right? Seems to have disappeared. So I'm just going to loot the place a bit and I'll see you guys in a second. So you know what, I'm actually going to take a little break. So uh, when we get back, we're going to completely search this area, the bullhouse impound. And uh, yeah, hope I'll see you guys next time. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Goodbye.